What's up YouTube, good afternoon. It is currently Friday, I just got dropped off by my Uber and you can see that we are a little bit chilly today in California, um, as in like 70 and partly cloudy. So I'm so used to the cold weather, cold, I'm from Michigan, it should be normal to me, but it's my Uber. So we're over at a place called Studio RSR. Robert is the owner, a good friend of mine, I've known for the last maybe two years or so. And I'm doing something I've been wanting to do to my car for a very long time. You can see that they have a few projects going on over here. Nice little E30. You can see my baby is back here. And you can't see inside right now, but the rear seats are taken out, and uh, I'll explain why. It's like literally right out of the oven, huh? Right out of the oven. That looks so good. Hi. Right. <laughs> hey. Dude, I haven't been able to sleep the past few nights. Oh, I I've know, been so dude. excited for this, dude. I can't, I, I've been. I've been. <laughs> You got a freshly caged RS5 with a nasty exhaust, as you guys heard. Check that out. How sick is that? They just had me sit in it to test out how I fit. Um, I'm 6'2", and there's plenty of room. I think if you're over like 6'6", six, six, it's probably a little hard, but overall. Weight savings and nice and clean. God, that white pops so much. Yeah. It's so bright. So you always recommend a base coat if you're gonna wrap it in the future. Oh yeah. Just so the wrap can stick to it. Yeah, a nice even to it. It is 
It's a four point half cage. Okay. You know, it mounts to four points on the chassis. Some people get confused because they think the X's count as points. That's not really the case. So it's a four point half cage then? Exactly. The design, you know, we like to be real aggressive. And obviously the more X's, the more, you know, rigidity it'll have. And obviously in the, in the case of a crash, it does give it more strength. How long have you owned your business for? It's been three years now. We started out mainly doing engine builds, superchargers. Now turbos, obviously, because a lot of the cars are turbo from the factory. So software tuning. We've been doing a lot of turbo installs and then some of our track guys, you know, wanted a cage. An M4 was the first one we did and he started taking that out to the track a lot. And then he, people saw his design and they started asking, you know, applications for their car. And how many cages have you done so far? In the last <laughs> two years since we started, I think it's like close to 80. Close to 80 cages. Yeah. Dang. So, well, thank you so much, yeah. man. No problem. I appreciate dude. that. Dude, it looks so sick. You can really see it now. Holy. <laughs> this is the official view now. I don't know if you guys can see this, but my rear view mirror, you can see it right there. Dang. <laughs> So we just finished up with the cage right now and I think we're gonna go out for a little photo shoot because there's this RS5 they just did a really sick cage in as you saw before. So they're gonna put some fresh stickers on my car. Just put one on this RS5. Now it's time for my car. Get some studio RSR love. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sick to see this behind me. It's so dope. <laughs> I would say like right here. Yeah. I want to say a huge thank you to Robert and the guys over at Studio RSR here in Anaheim, California. They did a crazy job on my car. I love, love, love the roll cage. If you guys have any questions, all the info is right here. Um, all the pricing information, everything like that, you can see below as well. If you guys are looking for a hookup on it, just mention Spencer for a really good discount on an awesome cage that's not only for style, but also for full-blown function. So once again, thank you guys so much. Okay, so if you want to make it, if you want to make the Exposure. Yeah. Can uh, we longer? angle the screen down? Somebody had some fun here. Look in the rearview mirror. 